Design. Today I am super excited because I have been invited to be part of a very special Valentine collaboration. The beautiful ladies over at Two Utes Transplanted, Mary and Kelly, have invited me to partake in this three week Be My Valentine collaboration series and I am very eager to jump right on in. There are actually several channels that are involved with this collaboration and I want to show you real quick who they are so you can be sure to check out their videos as well. Also involved in this collaboration is Kaylin Cooper, Gray Power 60, Lily Bug Lane, Thrifty 50, Crafty Jackie, and Julie's House. And of course, don't forget to check out Mary and Kelly over at Two Utes Transplanted, our gracious hosts. In this video today for week one, we're going to show you how to make some easy and inexpensive home decor items for Valentine's Day. Everything purchased in my video did come from the Dollar Tree and I put them all together to make this beautiful candle abra. If you guys would like to see how I made this very special candle holder for Valentine's Day for less than $10, just stay tuned. this project you will need just a few supplies all of which can be purchased at Dollar Tree. You will need this glass candle holder, a candle, two packages of the acrylic hearts in whatever colors you choose, a glue gun, glue sticks, alcohol, and a cotton ball. Before we start our project, we do need to make sure that our candle holder is clean of all oil and debris. Simply put your alcohol on your cotton ball and give it a good wipe down, then allow to dry completely. Prepare your hearts by emptying them out on your workspace. We will begin by choosing one of our hearts and turning it upside down. Place your glue right on the base of the two humps of the heart and press against the glass plate firmly for about 30 seconds. Be sure that your heart is upside down. Giving this a tug, you can see that the glue has dried nice and firm and now we can continue working right around the glass holder. I am going to alternate my colors, but you can choose to do your color pattern any way you would like. These colors would look equally as good if each row was a solid color. Now let's just continue working this all the way around. Because of the size of our hearts, there is a small gap left on that bottom row. That's okay, we'll work with it as we go. Keeping the gap in the back, it is time to begin our second row. We are going to do that by placing the first heart right in between the first two hearts of the bottom row. This time we want our hearts to be right side up. Simply place a little glue down both sides. Give it a little pressure for about 30 seconds and continue this all the way around, being sure to variegate your colors. Because we do have that gap on the bottom row, the next heart will not be able to be glued on both sides. Simply place your glue on the left side of that heart and firmly hold it into place. That will be enough to make it work. Our gaps are shifting just a little bit, but that's okay because they will be in the back of our design. It is now time to begin our third row, and to do that, we're going to flip our hearts upside down again. We do want to straddle the third row in between the two hearts on the second row. Simply place a little bit of glue right on those humps, firmly hold it into place, and continue all the way around.
The third row is working out perfectly to now fill in the gap. It is time to begin our fourth row and we want to make sure that we're beginning from the back. Taking a red heart, flip it right side up this time and begin on the right side of the red heart on the third row. Once again, we're just going to continue working ourselves all the way around. As you will see, this fourth row is going to end up working perfectly to also fill in the gap. So really, we only have a gap on the first and second row. It's now time to go ahead and find our candle. Mine is battery operated, but use whatever candle you have and voila. It is a beautiful design guaranteed to spice up any Valentine decor you have in your home. You can make as many of those heart rows as you would like. You can certainly make it a lot taller to encompass those three wick candles, or you could even make it a little bit smaller. Feel free to alter the design any way you would like to fit your decorating needs. I hope you guys enjoyed that very fun easy and inexpensive DIY project, all with items from the Dollar Tree. For a total of $3, you too can have this very beautiful piece to display in your home this holiday season. I want to thank you guys so very much for watching. Please be sure to go and check out all of the other channels. I will have them linked for you down below in the description box. I can't wait to see what their DIY projects are, and I am sure you won't be disappointed. Thanks so much for tuning in. We will see you in the next video.